Hey everyone, this is going to be a quick look at a small Lego set called simply Yellow Taxi. Now, as far as I've been able to determine, this was designed for Legoland New York, which is presently closed except for the store. I don't know exactly what's going on there, but I think that's what this was made for. However, this is available from lego.com anywhere. Ultimately, it's just a six stud wide Lego car. So honestly, context shouldn't matter that much. Um, however, I have questions about this, such as how did this get made in 2020 and 2021 for a 2021 release uh, like this? It is six studs wide and scales decently well to a minifigure, has modern wheels and tires, does not hold a minifigure. Uh, it reminds me very, 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 very much of the 1979 Lego Taxi set, which basically had the same amount of functionality right here. Just happened to have that. Even uses the same piece for the windshield. <laughs> kind of similar layout. You can't put a minifigure in there. So this little set over here came with a minifigure and it's like, what are you supposed to do? Well, you're supposed to imagine that the minifigure goes inside the car and then you drive across town and then whoop, <laughs> this person comes out. It's the same thing with this 2021 set. However, this one's much, much bigger. There's even less of a... Uh, of an excuse for this to not be able to hold a minifigure. Now, granted, not everything needs to hold minifigures. Not everything needs to be designed with minifigures in mind uh, from from Lego. I'm o I'm okay with them not accommodating a figure here. And you know, given that this is a I believe a Lego Land thing, where they're focusing a little bit more on the building system. It's not supposed to be so much about play. You know, this is like a a take home thing. A, a a, a memento, you know, to remember your your trip or something like that. Uh, still, this easily could have been <laughs> made differently. I think nicer. I think it could have been cooler, would have been cooler if it was made with more modern styles. Uh, the fender, you know, gaps, the openings there are odd to me comes with a sticker sheet, so sticker for the taxi there. That could have been a print, honestly, for something like this, I think, because there are two of them in the set. That could have been a good thing. Also, there's your Legoland Discovery Center uh, sticker, front and back, two of those. Now, these I like. That's cool. Little uh, Lady Liberty there in minifig form, suggested. I like that as well. But... Oh, one other thing that I really like about this, the fact that it uses a five stud wide dome. So this is five studs here, six studs down at the base. That makes for an interesting technique. It uses a ton of, of uh, jumpers to pull that off. This is a ton of them and you see them through there, which is a little bit awkward, but I, I like that they actually did that in a fairly simple set. And overall, you know, this kind of looks like a classic uh, cab, you know, just a Caprice Classic or whatever, Crown Victoria, regular New York cab. It has the proportions, basically, but it's just such an odd thing. It's so weird. Uh, these pieces are added in here, I believe, just to help with the building process. The light gray bits that are actually attached inside of the tubes, a technique that Lego doesn't use too frequently, but I think it was appropriate here. Yeah, if you want to see inside, I, I, I do want to show you this. I'm anxious to, to share this with you. The interior. Look at that. It actually has a hollowed out space. <laughs> and it's just not used. Lots of jumpers on this thing. It's just such a weird set, isn't it? For 2021 especially. Last up, there are the leftover or spare pieces. And this is the spent sticker sheet. So I spent $10 on this. Do I feel like I got $10 worth of Lego stuff here? Um, uh, mm, I guess not, <laughs> not really. I, I, I really wish this was more like $8 or something. It's just, you know, for $10, you can get a six stud wide Lego city car presently right now on the market with a minifigure and a minifigure is worth a lot more than a few pieces, you know, many figures made of a few pieces, maybe, maybe four, and it's, it's worth more than 40 cents. So this should not be $10 in my opinion. Uh, 
but I, I can see it as a as a destination thing, as a as a location specific thing. You know, at the Lego shop or a Lego shop in New York, I could see it being marked up like that, but it doesn't feel like that great of a deal to me. It's not a particularly interesting build. Um, the most interesting things about it to me are the stickers used up on, on top with a little ad bar, but not the ones on the sides, which actually weren't even cut that well, to be honest with you. Not the ones used for the license plate, although the design is okay, but just, I, I don't know. Why does, why does this exist? Why did they do it like this? They could have just done another six stud Lego city car with a minifigure and it would have looked cool. Maybe it would not have looked as much like a Crown Victoria or C Caprice Classic. I guess more of a Crown Victoria than, than Caprice. Eh, you could go either way with it. But I think it just would have had so much more appeal for the same price. Don't recommend it. I did a build. If you want to see how it goes together, see all those jumpers being applied. You can see it in real time or you can see it in speed build form. But yeah, I'm not so happy with this. Sorry, don't know what to tell you. Bye.